A surveyor is using an instrument that can only measure angles, no distance measurements. She is using this instrument to sight the top of a building, as shown below. From position A, she measures the zenith angle to be 77 degrees 45 minutes. She then moves the instrument to position B, which is 100 feet closer to the building and measures the zenith angle as 73 degrees 30 minutes. What is the height of the building? So this is the sketch of our problem. And this is point A, this is B. I'm going to simplify this drawing a little bit. Let's say this is our building. This line over here. And then let's say this is going to be point B. This is my height of instrument. And this is point A. Same instrument. And then I'm going to draw the angles. So this is the zenith angle from point B. And the angle here is 73 degrees and 30 minutes. And the next one at point A, the zenith angle, this angle over here is 77 minutes and 40, excuse me, degrees and 45 minutes. All right, first I would like to address the minutes within the angle. How do we transform the minute in degrees? So we know that one degree equals to 60 minutes. One degree equals to 3600 seconds. What that means, if I was to take the angle say 73 degrees and 30 minutes. This equals to 73 degrees plus, and we take the minutes, 30 minutes, and divide by 60. And this now it's transformed into degrees. If you were to have, let's say seconds next to these minutes, let's say if you had 25 seconds, you would add here 25 divided by 3600. And then the result is going to be in degrees, but we don't have the 25. So I'm going to take that out. So if you do the math here, you should get 73.5 degrees and then going to next angle say we've got 77 degrees and 45 minutes this is going to be equal to 77 degrees plus 45 minutes divided by 60 minutes and then use your calculators, please, to calculate that. You should get 77 degrees, 77.75 degrees. All right. So now that we have done that, I'm going to come back here to our problem. And I'm going to add some dimensions here. We know that this distance between A and B is 100 feet. Okay, and now we are asked to calculate the height of the building. Uh, let me, again, we also know the height of the instrument, which is five feet. There you go. So now these are the only dimensions we have. We have to calculate this height of the building, this distance over here. This is what we need to calculate. How do we do that? Let's start by using what we know. So we know these two zenith angles. And if I was to connect these lines like that, we are getting now 
two right triangles. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, let's see, C, D, E, F. So I'm going to use this to make sure we understand what we're talking about. So we have two right triangles. The first one is triangle C, D, E, and then the next one is C, D, F. Since we have this zenith angle, we can also calculate this angle over here by subtracting 73.5 out of 90, since this is obviously a 90 degree angle. So let's go ahead and calculate these two angles over here. I'm gonna say, so I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say in triangle CDE, right, we can calculate the angle CDE, is equal to 90 minus 73.5 degrees. And you should get an angle of 16.5 degrees. So this is a 16.5 degrees. Let's see now the next one. So in tri triangle, in triangle CDF, the angle CDF is going to be equal to 90 minus 77.75 degrees. And this should give you an angle of 12.25 degrees. Perfect. So now we know these two angles, which are going to help us calculate the height of the building. So we know the height of the instrument. Let me move this C somewhere inside. So I'm going to move this C inside. So we know this height of the instrument, right? We know that this is five feet. Now we need to calculate this height over here from C to D and then add five feet and that's going to be the height of our building. Let's first add some information. Let's assume this distance is X and this distance up here is Y. And then what we can do since this is, these are two catheters in this right triangle we're gonna apply the tangent function. Again, I'm gonna start by saying in triangle CDE, we are gonna apply tangent of 16.5 is equal to, does everybody remember what is the tangent function equal to? Is equal to the opposite, which is Y, distance over here over adjacent, which is x. And from here, we can say that the y distance equals to x multiplied by tangent of 16.5 degrees. And then Next, in triangle C, D, F, C, D, F, we're going to apply tangent, the same function of this angle, 12.25 degrees. It's going to be equal to the opposite. So from this triangle, the opposite is Y divided by, and now the adjacent is x plus 100 feet. And from this equation, we're going to calculate y. It's going to be equal to x 
plus 100 multiplied by tangent of 12, 25 degrees. Great. And now pay attention, since we have y equals to this equation one time and then next y equals to this equation, this means that we can make them equal. So I will take x tangent of 16.5 degrees is equal to x plus 100 multiplied by tangent of 12, 25 degrees. And from this equation, we're going to calculate x. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to move to the next page. So I'm going to do x tangent of 16.5 degrees equals to, I'm going to open the parentheses, x tangent of 12, 25 degrees plus 100 multiplied by tangent of 12, 25 degrees. And now this term has X in it. So I'm going to move it here on this side of the equal sign. So let's do X tangent of 16.5 minus X tangent of 12, 25 degrees is equal to 100 multiplied by the tangent of 12, 25 degrees. So now we can do x multiplied by tangent of 16.5 degrees minus tangent of 12, 25 degrees equals to 100 multiplied by tangent of 12.25 degrees. And from here, we're going to calculate for x equals to 100 multiplied by tangent of 12.25 degrees divided by this parenthesis over here, tangent of 16.5 degrees minus tangent of 12.25 degrees. Let's go ahead and use the calculators. So we're going to have 100, or first let's start by 12.25 degrees, tangent of that, multiplied by 100. And then at the bottom, we're going to have 16.5 tangent, and then 12.25 tangent, minus, and divided. And I get that x equals to 274.84 feet. So this distance over here is equal to 274.84 feet. This is what we have just calculated. Now we are going to go back to one of these equations of y and we're going to substitute the x to calculate the y. So I'm going to say y is equal to x multiplied by tangent of 16.5 degrees. And now I'm going to substitute x with 274.84 feet multiplied by tangent of 16.5 degrees. Please guys use your calculators. 16.5 tangent of that multiplied by 274.84. It's going to give you a value for y as 81.41 feet. And you might be tempted to go to the answers, A, B, C, D, 
because you have a value of 81 and choose that. And I hope you're not doing that. Remember at the beginning, we discussed that without a little sketch here, why is this distance from C to D from the top of the instrument to the top of the building? We have to also add five feet to Y in order to get the height of the building. So I'm going to say height of the building is equal to y plus height of instrument. And we have 81.41 plus 5 equals to 86.41. Feet. And this is the correct answer. This is the total height of the building. And the correct answer is D. And that's it for today. If you have any questions about this video or any other videos of mine, please leave your comments in the comment section below and I will see you next week. Bye.